Three separate people tried to have a conversation with me today and it just did not go well. It is 7 a.m. I don't, I can't, my brain just, I'll tell you, I'll tell the story when I get out of school. I can't even talk right now. There's no need even to have a college degree. I think explore what you want to do before committing. Because a lot of kids just in, in school kind of puzzled as to why yeah. they're there. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Hey, hey girly pops. pops. I'm wearing my own merch. Me too. Let's just take a commercial break for it, why don't we? Hi, so I dropped merch, so I have the tan crew neck in a small, medium, large, and an extra large. I'm just not modeling it. And I also have it in blue, and I'm 5'1", keep in mind. And then I have it in a blue t-shirt and a tan t-shirt. Ahem, <clears throat> girly grip. Boop -bop, beep -beep -bop. When I get the iPhone R that's orange, this is gonna look freaking sick on that. And yeah, just follow me on Instagram to get updates when I restock it. Thanks guys, love you. I launched merch and I only revealed it on Instagram, so if you're not part of that, you missed out big time, baby. Um, Oh, you wanted to like follow me. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even talk about who you are. We just started the video. Oh, yeah. You do YouTube? Yeah, my name is Ryan actually. Oh, nice to meet yeah. you. This is Ryan Trahan. I've done a few collabs with him. Met at VidCon actually. Didn't know who each other were. I just said new. Who were? <laughs> okay, so yeah. <laughs> I cannot film in front of you. Hey. <laughs> I'm still gonna be doing a vlog today, but I wanted to insert this uh, massive clip of us <clears> talking <throat> about why I don't want to go to college. I've done a few school vlogs, and I always joke about like not doing my homework, and it's fine because I'm not going to college. I'm just trying to pass, and a lot of you guys are confused because either one, you're new, or either two, you remember videos where I talked about going to college, mm. and now I'm just not so I thought I'd explain and Ryan here is actually a college dropout also on my Instagram <laughs> I asked him <laughs> the questions you wanted to know about why I'm not going to college because we know why we're not going to college but we just want to know you just want to guys want to know oh look I can hold my phone with the why <laughs> you're like holding it up to the uh, camera so the first first question, question. <laughs> is before we answer these questions. This is not a blanket statement to why everyone shouldn't go to college, and this is also not a video of us trying to convince you of why you shouldn't. I it's am just, trying to convince you. This <clears throat> is just like a personal choice, and I thought I'd let you guys know because there's so many questions about it. So this is <laughs> that voice started because I felt awkward when we collabed. Really? And then I do it every video now, and I cut it out every time. Wait, is that why it started? Yes. You're so strong. <laughs> I am a dancer, as some of you guys may know, and I used to want to go to college for dance because I was like, well, I don't care about anything else academically. I used to love high school. I still love education. I love reading. I do a lot of reading and writing on my own. In terms of going to college for dance, it was about $60,000 a year or $30,000 for the cheaper side of dance colleges. And then once you actually become a dancer, you don't make money, which can be fine if dance is like all you want to do with your life but I am not passionate enough about it to only do that all the time and also not get paid for it especially being what's 60,000 times four two hundred forty thousand dollars in debt mm -hmm. not worth it to me at all but ever since I was younger I always had businesses and it was pretty clear that I wanted to be kind of entrepreneurial as well as creative a lot of entrepreneurs just don't go to college because it's not really necessary to pay for business school when you could use that money to invest into a business mm. and a lot of people can learn just by doing rather than paying for classes to do it or yeah. you can just not go to college and pay for online courses that aren't as much like that would be like maybe two thousand dollars instead of like thirty thousand a year a lot of people go to college because it's kind of a time to just figure out what you want to do but it's an expensive way to figure it yeah. out I do recommend gap years one time I got a comment that was like you know honey like the social media thing isn't gonna last forever so you should go to college that's actually very reversed because if social media isn't going to last forever then shouldn't I do that first since college will always be there yeah because me not going to college next year doesn't mean I can never go to college if I wanted to I could go get my degree if like YouTube explodes and dies as well as every <laughs> single business on planet earth if that happens i could still go to college but there's also a lot of jobs that don't even require degrees but that, that's something else to think about that's so a whole new thing we're gonna let our buddy ryan Tran over here give it a it may, you make it, it sound go. like i have like a prepared speech or something i'm kind of oh nervous. he does <clears throat> he really does yeah so in high school i was valedictorian i thought it was like really important to get really good grades i think it i think it's important to try to learn in high school there's a difference between academics and education though 
I went to Texas A&M to run cross country and track. Full scholarship. For academics, and I wasn't that good at running. But, oh, really? Yeah, it was Basically, I thought I wanted to, like, I was studying economics. I hated the classes so much, because I already had, like, other things I had going on, you know? I have a question. Oh, I thought that was a high five. Why'd you choose economics? Because I didn't get into the business school. I wanted to do entrepreneurship. Like I already had like this water bottle company, Neptune, like <laughs> link in description. I, yeah. not in the description. It's literally not in the description. <laughs> um, I also had like YouTube, which I had like 20,000 subscribers. But basically there was a there was a big situation where I wasn't even allowed to make money on YouTube like with my business because I was in the NCAA, which is like the organization that like parents like the sports. And so it was just really stressful. You know, I, I wasn't allowed to make money and, and keep posting videos if I wanted to stay and stay if I wanted to keep running, please cut that out when I have to I'm literally begging you. I was running in college. I had no desire to run afterwards. So it was just like for fun, and it was so demanding. Mm -hmm. That's almost the same thing for school. Like I had no desire to actually do an economics thing because I knew I wanted to do like an entrepreneurial. But you just manager. wanted to get your degree. Yeah, because right? like that's what I thought I had to do. But it came to a point where I was like going to class for 50 minutes seemed like such a waste of time because the stuff I was doing was like I legit just went home and like actually worked on the stuff I wanted to. And I was like, yeah. why am I spending eight hours of my day at least and paying money? Like I had to pay money for books still. Like, why would I spend that much time doing things that literally are not gonna end up being what I want to do at yeah. all? My mom talked about how if you're not gonna be a lawyer, doctor, engineer, those professions really do need, I mean, years of schooling yeah. and a degree. But there's a lot of jobs that don't require degrees and... If you're sitting in a class and paying money to try to figure out what you want to do, that's pretty absurd. Which is funny because people think it's riskier to not go to college. Yeah. Even just to take a gap year. People are like, oh, if you take a gap year, you're never going back. You're gonna Maybe be there's a back. reason. But this isn't to say, there's like so many professions where you do need college and you do need education. Truthfully, you can like build out a resume. Like, I think people assume that a college degree is your resume. If you just spend an entire year trying to like learn marketing, like you said, like an online course, you mm -hmm. can like a fraction of the cost, you will directly learn exactly what you want to do. Right. And you can actually build a resume. You can like contact people, work on projects. But then again, I think there is also a very specific type of person who cannot go to college because number one, you have to be independent already mm -hmm. and college is also a really big transition for a lot of people to learn yeah. how to live on their own and take care of themselves. And it's like actually a really nice environment if you want to do that because I mean you're paying an institution to just kind of live alone while not actually having any responsibility yeah. that are too crazy yet. You know what I mean? It's like a yeah. good transition if you want that and like a social experience. You have to be really self-motivated and for us it's easier to say this because we already kind of have like a path I mean we made that ourselves but yeah. you can still you know anyone can make that path for themselves it's not like it was handed to us but yeah I don't know why I feel weird talking I feel like it's cocky it's, to say that but it's I mean know. it's I think it should not be cocky but like insightful like yeah. we're I feel like our audience is our age or yeah. you know younger they're looking forward to this like you should definitely be like Haley's a good example of what you can do if you just take time to work hard I mean, she has like a lot going on. You still have like school, you do dance all the time and you still find a way to yeah. make things work. And I have dance too, like I would love to, I have so many things that I wanna do that I don't wanna like say on camera yet cause I want them to be like big mm -hmm. fun surprises, but it's not just me doing YouTube. Like mm -hmm. I'm not not going to college because I wanna do YouTube full time. There are so many things like if YouTube was not a thing, I still have so many other things that I yeah. wanna do. So YouTube is just like an ad bonus and kind of like a, it will show what my journey is like not going to college, I guess, which I'm really excited to film like me moving out and like the whole experience of just not going. When I was dropping out, it was like in the news cause I was like a runner and there's, oh, like, really? no, there's like a community for that stuff. That's funny. And they're like, Ryan Trade's making such a bad decision. So I dropped out when I had 25,000 subscribers and there was like, I mean my coach thought it was a bad idea. <laughs> Everyone that ever left the team or dropped out was like, all I'm saying is no one's ever dropped out and not come back. And I was like, oh, okay. This guy on the forums, it's like, it kind of captures what a lot of the community or like people around me were saying. Ryan Train is an idiot. He has 25,000 subscribers, which is not a lot. He also sells his Neptune bottle, which is basically a Yeti knockoff. If he really thinks he can make a living off of these two things, then he's delusional. The only reason he got so many subscribers in the first place is because he was a D1 runner for AM. Now he's just a random college dropout who hangs out with his friends. His YouTube channel will max out around 30,000 subscribers and he'll be back in school school in a few years. Just wait for it. And that's, I, I mean, I don't even, I don't even want to say like, ha, gotcha, you know? Right. But it's like, it's such a testament, like people literally don't understand that if you just work hard, that was this year, that was 2018 when, when he said that. If you just work hard, it's been like, what, nine months. Mm -hmm. So much has changed. Like, it, nine months versus four years of me still, still like, still being in school. Yeah. And I just know that I wouldn't be where I am right now in terms of my like subscribers and stuff doesn't really matter but I'm like really happy right now I get to travel so much more if I just had not gone for it and listened to everyone that was saying those things yeah 
I mean, it really comes down to like believing in yourself and just like knowing that you can work hard. What's funny is I'm still like so self-conscious when I tell people I'm not going to college because it's just such a there's such a stigma around it. Mm -hmm. It's like oh, they're probably just unmotivated or which is so opposite from the truth. Like yeah. oh, they don't want to go to college. What they're gonna do nothing with their life. Yeah. So it is like it's I don't know. I think society has come to a point where it's more acceptable and people kind of question whether they want to go. Whereas like they used to just like it was no question you're going to college. Yeah. Like, I think it's important to have conversations like this. Though. So like yeah. actually considering yeah. the other options and also I talked to so many people in my community who are doing the things that I want to do and they said that they either don't use their college degree or that they learned way more just doing it instead of going to college there's so many adults I know who are like oh I got my degree in science engineering but I'm a baker now you know just like so many things where they don't even use my mom got her degree in textiles which is like clothing and she was an accountant mm -hmm. so I think the biggest piece of advice would just be don't jump into it if you're gonna be yeah losing. There's no a shame in a gap year. That one year can serve you really well. Like that's almost setting up your trajectory for the rest of your life. I think. I feel like we're giving advice that's not wanted. Yeah. But at the same time, we're just kind of talking to ourselves. Like we're just kind of answering our own questions. Right. I'm just trying to convince ourselves it's okay yeah. because we're actually like really struggling right now. <laughs> that's just to answer all that's the comments why. who are curious. This is not me or us, I guess, I keep forgetting he's here. It's not us trying to convince you not to go to college. I think it is a very great life changing experience for so many people, but we are not the type of people mm -hmm. who it will work for and that's okay. All right, now let's get into the vlog. It's so crooked. It hits. Oh, Wow, look at our little converse. Are you gonna tell them? <laughs> Should I? Yeah. It's a bit embarrassing. They might tell me to go to college, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're how long were we in Starbucks? A long time, like two hours. Like, <laughs> at least two hours. And um, we came back and my car was on. It was on the whole time. Yeah, that we it were was. Starbucks. It was running. Um, like the engine and yeah. all that stuff. So. so, go to college, kids! Wow, you made it to the end. I'm so proud of you. This week's girly pop of the week is Alyssa. She said hi to me while I was eating, and the reason she's girly pop of the week is because we took a picture, and she makes me look really tall in it, so I really, really, really appreciate that, because that has never happened to me in my entire life. So, love you, Alyssa. Make sure to subscribe to become part of the family, and follow me on Instagram to see when I restock the merch. It'll be a super limited, like, way less this time. Ah, so, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Love you so Sometimes I think I better spend the night I left Donna at your house, won't you all the time? So a fire won't go out, I think I'm lost forever There's no light to guide me now, where's my motherfucking princess? Oh my god